Hi, this is Dr. Todd Rowe presenting tips on using the homeopathic remedy Colosynthes. Before I start, I'd just like to say that nothing in this material is meant to diagnose, cure, prescribe, or treat any illness. Please consult your homeopathic practitioner for treatment options. Colosynthes is also known as bitter cucumber. It is a desert plant, um, also known as vine of Sodom, bitter apple, wild gourd, or bitter cucumber. Cucumber. It's an annual climber and stays green even in times of severe drought. And it's the same family as watermelon. It's been cultivated historically as a medicine. Its juice has also been used as an ingredient of arrow poisons to induce irritation. The fruit's been used to repel moths. Gourds have been used to store water. Um, the plant has been used to darken hair, treatment of um, difficulty starting menses, swelling in the abdomen, liver problems, fevers, jaundice, arthritis, snake bite, and even cancer. It's also been used as a food by the Bedouin, and the seeds are edible and used in bread. The plant prefers a sandy loam um, and loves seacoast deserts with a small amount of rainfall. Uh, the plant is found in Syria, Persia, Arabia, and Egypt. It's indigenous. Now in homeopathy, we use this remedy for a variety of acute conditions like gallbladder problems and inflammation, abdominal colic, dysmenorrhea or painful menses, gastroenteritis, irritable bowel, kidney stones, neuralgias, and sciatica. The mental state of someone who needs the remedy colosynthesis is one with anger, even rage. They also can be speechless because of their pain. Their anger can flare up easily and they're upset by trifles and are offended easily with indignation. Hahnemann, the founder of homeopathy, said, extreme peevishness, everything is amiss. He is extremely impatient. Every word he has to answer vexes him, even things the most harmless. So oftentimes there are strong emotions that come with the pain, so shrieking with pain, anger with pain, um, etc. It's also a remedy whose etiology, uh, something that causes someone to get sick with this remedy, is things like humiliation, anger, mortification, or vexation. They also are quite restless with the pain and have difficulty finding any position that gives them rest. There can be a craving to be alone. They tend not to say a lot and keep their anger inside frequently. This remedy focuses on the nerves, causes colic, and also on the gastrointestinal tract. Symptoms typically are worse on the right side with sudden violent cramping pains and twisting and turning and crying out. There is often nausea that accompanies their pains and pains followed by numbness. They can describe their pains as cutting, pinching, clamping, gnawing, grasping, clutching, or boring, and often the pains are accompanied by numbness. Patients who need this remedy are worse from vexation or anger, strong emotions, lying on the painless side, mortification or humiliation, after eating, 6 a.m. or 4 to 5 p.m., and from cold weather. They're better from heat and hard pressure, better bending double, better with gentle motion, lying on the painful side, and drinking coffee. There can be a strong craving for beer, beer, bread, or cold food. Probably the primary indication is in the abdomen with abdominal colic. And the classic description is that it's better from heat and better from pressure. So 
uh, curled up with a hot water bottle is a good description of colocynthus. Um, the pains in the tense in the intestines are often cramping and often feeling like being squeezed between stones. There can be bubbling sensations in the abdomen, electrical shock sensations, and the cramp can radi radiate into the pubic area. It's one of our main remedies for colic in infants. It's also useful for neuralgias of the face with stitching or burning pains. There can be a bitter, persistent taste in the mouth, a sensation of swelling in the nose or the eyes, flickering in the vision, heaviness of the lids with spasmodic closure of the eyelids, and sensation that the eyes are gonna fall out. There can be dizziness also with turning the head quickly to the left. It's a big remedy for diarrhea and cramping associated with the diarrhea. Um, also for constipation in young children after they've been reproached or feel a lot of anger. There can be difficulty breathing during the period. There can be painful menses and pain in the ovaries extending to the stomach. Also ovarian colic um, and even a remedy that's been used historically for ovarian tumors. It's a big remedy for sciatica, particularly on the right side with shooting or band-like sensations that are worse from motion and better lying on the painful side. There also can be a lot of cramping in the calves and the knees can feel stiff and cold. Typically they are quite restless with pains. You can compare this remedy to chamomilla. Uh, Whitmont, a uh, noted homeopath, said that mentally cold synthesis is already over the worst and by the time you see him he's calmed down and is suffering the physical consequences of his anger whereas chamomilla may show you the door at your mere approach. Colosynthesis temper is hidden. He will not reveal it until you question him about it. His impatience springs from anger and vexation. Other remedies that you can compare are Nux vomica, which is poison nut, uh, Magnesia phosphorica, and um, Elaterium, squirting cucumber, Causticum, sulfurated potash, Bryonia, which is wild bryony, and diascorea, which is wild yam. Just a quick little case. This is um, someone who came with sciatica to my practice. Um, is having pain in the right hip. Um, he's had this for nine months. He was changing his headlight and was very stressed and got angry at the time, but didn't express it. And when he got up from changing the headlight, he had severe pain and the pain goes numb in his shin. He describes it as a very heavy ache that is better sitting, worse standing, better pressure, and better heat. And he's living with a great deal of pain. In the past history, is there was no anger in the family. Um, and he spent a lot of time in his life not feeling anger, suppressing his anger, and so he would get moody and sulk instead. There also is a lot of shame that he's experienced in the past and felt easily wounded and humiliated at growing up. So he was given a dose of colocynthus, 30C. He took it once a day for three days and the sciatic completely resolved by the third day. Also, the remedy had significant effects on his emotional state. He was better able to express anger after the remedy and felt much less shamed and humiliated. You can order this remedy at orders at amcofh.org. We also offer a program in first aid and acute prescribing called the Introduction to Homeopathy Online Program. That's 40 hours. And you can find out more about this at acutecare at amcofh.org. We also offer a variety of self-help programs which are specifically targeted at homeopathic treatment of specific conditions. We have about 35 of these, and you can read, hear more about these at www.selfhelphomeopathy.org. And lastly, the address for our website is www.amcofh.org. Thank you very much.